Hi, my name is Petra Zimmerman and I'm the creator of the Hookers and Hoes magazine. I wanted to take time to let you know what the magazine's about and just to tell you what's kind of in it. I've been doing shows lately and it seems like it's scaring some people. It's exciting a lot of people and it's confusing people. It is a crochet gardens and arts magazine. Um, the name just lets you know right away that it is alternative and uh, silly and maybe unorthodox, but I think it's very fun. Inside, there's always a Tulsa artist musician CD, and sometimes there's explicit music on that. Sometimes there may be a painting with nudity in it, and sometimes there's cuss words while talking about plants, but I think that that's just fine and all in good fun, so that's where your humor lies, is maybe you're in or you're out. So. Uh, that's that. So now I'm going to spend time to go through the magazines in just a sec. But the first thing I wanted to mention is that there is a fundraiser for the magazine coming up. It's this Saturday, June 15th at the Arts at 302 building and it'll be from 6 to 9. I've got over 100 pieces of art that's going to be in the room or put into different raffles. And those will be, you could raffle those off or there'll be lots of art that's 50, 60, and $70. I wanted it to be an affordable art kind of night. And then there's um, a silent auction with a few bigger pieces, but most of the stuff is, like I said, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That is because I also want to make it a vintage night, so I would encourage you to dress up. There's gonna be three prize pools. One is for who best dressed the 50s, best dressed the 60s, best dressed the 70s. And each one of those winners will receive a year subscription of the magazine. Um, so I'm gonna go through it now. Let me switch my camera over. So here's a look at all the magazines. This is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. I wanted to show this one just because I thought it was such a funny, cool cover. And I wanted to open it up to show you that sometimes they come with super fun stuff like seed packs is a new thing that I've started to add into the spring issues. And I think that that'll be a for everything. I really like that. Uh, this is a... Uh, Tulsa Musician CD. I put each one. Each one of these gets burned by me or sometimes my daughters will help me. Uh, but most time it's me and I'm packing each one, labeling each one. On the back there's a label. On the inside there's a label. I also handwrite on these. I also hand pack the seeds. And then I get together this calendar. It's a to-do calendar of things to do. Most of them are things that are in the Tulsa area, sometimes further out. I try to make sure most of the things are free, little to no cost, and then some maybe special things I put on there as well. So that's what that is. This is always included. This is always included. And the seed pack was a spring thing, edition, issue edition thing I decided to do. In the winter one, there was a fun winter poster. In this one, there's a fun little centerfold photo of the ladies and then at the party there will be different ones of all of us single shots that will be available as posters uh but yeah each one of these cost about three thousand dollars a piece to make and that's not including paper the seed packs or posters that go into each one um so the and on top of that, making all these, I do do the um, content on the inside. I do just about everything but write people's art articles for them. And sometimes I have. Um, but yeah, I put together a lot of this. I've been able to pay the people to be on the cover with me. Uh, people that take the photos of the cover. And people to do the crochet patterns. I would like eventually to be able to pay anybody who's putting an article to be in it, even though a lot of people say, oh, I'll just be in it for free. Uh, although that's really nice. That's the point of the magazine is to help uh, create jobs, get people paid for doing um, work for me, which I think it's work, even though they think it's opportunity. I think it's ex important to do things that aren't just for the exposure all the time. So yeah, this is just showing that there's crochet patterns throughout the magazine. There are musicians in the magazine, fun centerfolds of artists that are very inspiring. There's models, there's photographers, there's 
nice things people are doing for the community. Um, there's another pattern. This is a funny thing. I'll always do a little update on what I'm up to. And this would just so happen to be sh sharing information about all the all the covers and what like what we did that day to put in it like this one was done with afro man so how that all went down and yeah it's just a fun yeah fun way to share art and what's going on in the world right now uh yes so the cost of making the magazines the time it takes me to make all of them is all a part of why i would like to have the fundraiser because the money raised will go into um paying artists for things such as uh, plant articles that are throughout the magazine. I'd like to get people who are on each side of the coast and north and south of me. That way I could give people more information on plants that are in their zone because a lot of these go outside of Oklahoma then stay here, which is really awesome. But I also want to make sure as many people as possible know about it locally because it's important that they pick one up too for lots of reasons. But it's made because I'm an art lover and I think uh, it's important to include lots of people and to just let people know, not take things so serious and to give people spotlights who maybe aren't the biggest artist or if they're a big artist, get them known. I mean, get them more seen because obviously they're big for a reason. They're inspiring. So it's good to share who they are. Um, but yeah, so the party will help do that, and in turn, it will help me not work so much on the magazine myself, um, and then I can spend more time making art or being in my garden, which would be awesome. So good for artists, good for me, and people seem to like the product, so good for you if you buy it. Um, so it'll help continue to make the magazine, help give me some more time, and it would help, um, it would help create jobs for artists so thank you so much for whoever buys a ticket and shows up and if you have been in the magazine uh there are tickets online to um, join us for free drinks uh food raffle silo auction and just a good time and there's also uh if you've been in it there is a free ticket make sure you get your free ticket as well because i'll have somebody at the door checking people in and even though you've been in it they don't know you the person at the door might not you know know who you are so please make sure you do so and i hope you see you at the party